Hi guys and welcome back. This is part 9 of my Unreal Engine 4 multiplayer FPS course. If you guys haven't checked out the previous parts, links to those will be down in the video description. Also down there will be a link to my Discord server. So if you guys have any questions or suggestions, make sure you guys do leave those down in the server over there. You could also follow me on Instagram. Link to that will be in the description below. Alright guys, so we are in part 9 now and things are getting a little interesting. We are finally heading outside of Unreal Engine and we are in clevercloud.com because we are going to be setting up a player database for our multiplayer game. And yes, this is going to be the kind of database through which various players in your game can check each other's statistics, how many kills they have, how many deaths they have and how many matches they have played and things like that. I'll be showing you guys the general procedure and we'll be doing the most basic of it. Of course you can modify it to create whatever you wish. Now just one thing that I would like to highlight before we actually move into SQL because we will be using SQL or SQL or however you want to pronounce that. Just because we are using uh, MySQL doesn't mean you learn the entirety of it. Learn only what's required for you as a game dev because in this day and age the internet has all the knowledge you need completely free of cost immediately available to you with just a google search there is no need to ac absolutely you know memorize syntax in 2022 as you use things more and more you just naturally remember them without any manual efforts. So th that's just one thing that I would want to say before we actually head outside the engine. So let's start. So if you head into clevercloud.com, you should see something like this. Now head into personal space, head into create, add on. Over here, select MySQL and select the free plan. If you are willing to pay, you could use any one of these. Of course, if you are actually willing to pay, you'd use something like Google's MySQL or something. You wouldn't use Clever Cloud. But this was the best free one that I could find, the most reliable one. And for the server, don't select France. Uh, the server is often down in France in this. And we'll just be calling this FPS Course DB and click Next. Alright guys, so once the database is created, now you will have certain things such as host, database name, user, password, etc. Do not share those with anyone. That's the reason I blacked them out on my screen. Now head into your PHP and this is where we'll actually create our database. So head into databases, select the first option that you have here and over here just create a table and we'll just call it player db. The most basic of FPS databases will require five columns, of course. So we'll just be having very basic statistics such as ID, kills, deaths, wins and losses. So it's not going to be too difficult. So we, we are going to be having five columns here. Click on go. Now for the data type, the first one is going to be a care. Select care here and the length of this is going to be 17 but just to stay safe we are just going to keep it 18 now this one is going to be called steam id the second one is going to be a media mint the reason we are doing media mint for these is just so that you can save a little bit of space so media mint takes three bytes in mysql whereas your regular int takes four so that's the reason we are using media mint now over here we are going to be having kills or let's actually have yeah kills the next one is going to be deaths the next one is going to be wins and the next one is going to be losses so this is the most bare bones database that you can have and click on save all right guys so the next thing you'll need is a plugin so there are two plugins which you'll actually need one is a mysql plugin which i will link down in the video description and another one is called async funk caller it used to be on the marketplace but it's currently removed so i will give a link to that as well now head into your fps course folder head into plugins and paste that in now 
once you are done with that I'll just uh, rename that open up async func caller open up the u plugin file inside here just set the engine version to 4.27 and save that alright guys so once the build has succeeded you can go ahead and open up your project file and head into plugins go to edit plugins and just make sure the plugins async func caller and mysql connector ue4 plugin is actually enabled now the way we'll be accessing data is by establishing a connection and using that connection object to actually call the various queries so if i just head into my game instance and type in mysql connect you should find a macro a little something like this but there is a small issue here if i just drag off of connection and try to promote that to a variable you see i cannot the reason is the class to which mysql connection object belongs to is not actually marked as blueprintable and that's a pretty easy fix so if you just head into your fps core project location head into plugins head into mysql db and if you go to source mysql connector plugin public and mysql connection dot h open it up now in here you would find u class with no parameters inside now the only thing that you have to do is type in blueprintable save and close it you can feel free to close your project file now head into your fps course location open up your .sln file right click on your project and click on build alright so I've opened up the project again the build has indeed succeeded and now if I just type in promote to variable as you can see I can clearly do that and in the next video we'll be continuing with the database it's probably going to take a few more parts because we will go over how to set it up in the correct way and how to actually uh, run queries on the database from our computer so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching if you guys did find any of the information useful make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and make sure you hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos goodbye